So we have reached the last hour of the Whistleblower DLC with an Outlast. And I've been hearing that it is possibly the worst of the worst. I've made myself some fresh coffee. There's nobody here. And um, I'm just gonna be a free spirit today for this episode. Everything I do will be free. And uh, I don't even know if that makes any sense. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last and final episode or so I hope it is, of Outlast. So we currently find ourselves in the prison ward and we had to come here in order to get the radio, the radio over. And uh, this is where we escape, or so we think, right? I mean, I don't think we're staying alive. I mean, the first guy didn't stay alive, so I doubt this guy will too. Anyways, let's do this. Somebody is getting shebang banged old, getting kicked in the head over there. Okay. Oh. Okay, this is the prison. We've got a two-way street. Which way do you... Oh. Okay, I'm going this way. Oh, uh, yeah. Not going... Oh. Yep, definitely going this way. Wait, actually, you know what? I'm a man. What am I... What am, what am I doing? What is this? Open this door up. No, it does not open. Okay. I know one of you told me that I missed the prison tower or something like that. Um, but I, I think I did it. I just probably edited it out because I did edit some stuff out because I was kind of stuck. I don't know. We didn't choose this. Walker. Oh, don't tell me he's here again. Okay, this is it. Here we go. This is it right here. Perfect. Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Are you stupid? Wailing You couldn't just... You couldn't just keep your mouth shut. You couldn't just play along. Fuck. But you're done talking now. Do me a favor and die here, Park. What a freaking asshole. Ah! Yeah, it will destroy you. So, wait, what's the objective now? I exit the via the administration. Oh, oh my goodness. Another poor soul. Don't be afraid. You're doing his work. Oh, Whether it's you know father. It oh, hold on. Somebody who looks um, as much like a priest as, uh, as this place looks like an asylum. Writing instructions on the wall. Talking about God. Tell me. Tells me not to be afraid. How was I ever part of this inhuman bullshit <laughs> greed driven moral genocide? The monsters Murkoff ripped from tortured minds. The Langster jackbooted business school worms will go to protect it. Unbelievable. Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life. Lisa. But if some small minded interventionist God is listening, there is no radio. <gasps> no hope of reaching the outside world. Only escape. 
I don't know, the father is creepy, but he's always been uh, one of those characters that doesn't really hit you or anything. Hey, 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 what's going on here? Wait, so now we're where we were at in the beginning with uh, yeah, this is exactly where we were on the first one. So we're here now. Oh, Jesus Christ! So this is from Blair, which is um, I think the the main guy, the the the, the executive dude that just broke the radio. False pregnancies, real profits, Rick. Fun hitting the green, uh, the greens last week. We should make the drive more often. Um, so he sent this to, oh, Traeger, the doctor. Was reviewing some old, uh, some old test records from the early days of Project Wallrider, and something sparked my interest. Were you following the project back in 2010? Apparently, we had issues with the female employees experiencing psycho, uh, psycho, psychosomatic pregnancies. Something to do with. How the mor morphogenic engine interacts with the Im immune system. All Greek to me, am I right? It was more often uh, uh, fatal than not, and these were employees and not patients, so a little harder to sweep under the rug. But uh, morphogenic engine activity in these ladies' marrow was off the, sh uh, off the charts, and these are women who were never even exposed to the additional hormone therapy. Now, I don't know what PPM... Uh, now, I don't know PPM from a kick in the teeth, but I can read a spreadsheet, and if projected profits from Project Wall Rider are half what they say they are, just got one question. Why aren't we performing experiments on women? God knows mental illness is an, uh, is an equal opportunity affliction. Seems unethical to pass up on such a potential. Dude, bro, these guys are freaking sick, man. Freaking sick to the freaking. Oh one of them's coming. It's not even here anymore. Uh, Really? You Lock really? It. Shut it in. really? You're supposed to be a cop. You're supposed to help me. And yeah, this is exactly where we were. Oh man! So this dude's actually in the same spot. Battery right here. Oh my god. This is not gonna be good. I hated this portion of the first of, of the original story. I don't want to be back here, dude. I'm home alone. Uh, uh, what? 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 Wait! Wait! What? Oh, he's behind me! Oh! Shh! <laughs> How do you run so fast? You're like 500 pounds. Okay, hold on. So, all right, that's glass. Oh, we're outside of the prison already. Eh, that was not that bad. These guys ain't that bad. They're nothing. Oh! What the fuck was that? Picked up a battery. Whatever you do, do not hurt me. Okay, hold on. Above the knees, below the navel, silence and swan on Gluskin's table. To make a place to push inside, the groom will make himself a bride. Above the knees, below the navel, sliced and swan and soon on Gluskin's table. Sliced and soon on Gluskin's table. Above the knees, below the navel, the groom will make himself a bride. Somebody want to get married here? Or what the hell's happening? This is a bad idea. <gasps> okay.
All right, whatever you do. Oh shit, it's bright as hell in here. Do not hurt me. Wait, what? What was that? What was that? Guys, what the hell is this, bro? I don't want to go in the sewers, man. No, 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 no. I don't want to go back in the sewers. Oh. Was that a... Oh. Oh, what is this? Hey, what, what? Hey, where do I go, man? Do I go here? Do I go to the church? Do I go to the right? What the frick? <laughs> Okay, hold on. That's locked up. I can't touch that, of course. I'm so glad we don't have health here, man. Like, really, we don't. We really don't have health. I'm kind of glad that's the case because if we did, that would suck very badly. Oh, we have a no here. Kill us. Burn the building. Worse than death here. Kill us. Kill us. So shit's getting crazy right now, bro. Hold on, hold on. Can I go in here? I'm gonna have to swap out my batteries very soon. Nope, that's chained up. Am I recording? I'm so nervous. I don't even remember if I started recording or not. We are now going into uncharted territory, ladies and gentlemen. This is all brand spanking new. myself Yo, why are you still chasing me dude what the frick um yeah uh Frick is this place, dude? Oh, dude, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, look, just chill out, okay? Just need to be civil about this. This is just a game. This is all fake. This is our fucking. Artificial shit! Okay, okay. The visions have actually stopped. I just realized that. Bro, I don't like these tight corners. I'm not feeling this right now, bro. Ooh, I don't like this. Ooh. Right, do we have any, uh... Batteries here. No, just another freaking cop. It's all your fault, cops. Security, call yourself as part of the security. Eh. If you'd have done proper security, you wouldn't be in this bullshit. Oh, what the freaking shit is that? thought that the inside was going to be creep was always creepier than the outside until you really come outside and you realize wait a minute no it's not okay somebody died in here i cop did and somebody's in here i don't want to oh, what the fuck god ah, shit No, 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 relax. 
relax, bro. What the freaking heck is going on here? It would be it would be so easy. I don't believe it anymore. Getting the truth out, there is no truth, only lies. We've accepted too long to double back on. It's our children, Lisa. I would take the easy way um, out if it wasn't for the boys. Damn this place to uh, damn this place to hell. I'll suffer anything to get out of it. Now what the frick is this? What's up, dude? Okay, we'll go up. Oh, grab on, grab on. Oh, good break. Okay, what do we got here? My camera is malfunctioning. I need to change the batteries. Do I want to change the batteries just yet? No, not just yet. <laughs> this is where this guy fell from, huh? <laughs> At the top of the world, baby. At the top of the tippity top of the world. Wait. But like, how big is this? This is like a freaking kingdom in here. Look at this. I would literally stay somewhere here. Like, I would probably hide up here, sleep, and then wait for it to be daytime. And then... Then I would just escape, because at night you can't really do anything. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, you better not fucking fall. Nah, nah. No, no! No freaking way! You would have been dead. Don't need any sisters. Maybe some some girls that ain't blood. You ain't old enough to be worrying about it. We have Worse problems. Grow some hair on your finger, Timmy. Then you can talk about girls. I hear something. I swear. Everybody. What? Girls? What? Bro, let me change the battery up. Bro, we were so freaking close, man. See, let me let me check over here because yeah i don't want to go there <laughs> i'll go this way sorry boys sorry guys i know i should if we did he could be our goat what in creation are you talking about he just likes to hear himself talk we need to go to bear our guilt, our gender, a small piece of flesh between us and the blade. You want to give him to Gluskin? That's the idea. I, I, I don't want to get Gluskin's attention. He'll hurt us. He'll hurt you. Wait, what? Who the fuck's that? Gluskin? Well, you listen here, boys. I'm a man's man, and I will beat your ass. But don't you come here trying to fool me. <clears throat> a gift for the green. Oh, what the, f what the fuck are you talking about, dude? What's wrong with you? <gasps> Is it dark in here? Yeah, it's very dark in here. Hello? What? Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, 
Oh, okay. Oh, uh, sure. Hold on. Back inside. Like, the harder I try to escape, the deeper I get. Dead men aren't a surprise to me anymore. Uh... Suicide seemed wise. Oh. Hey, bro, relax. Listen, I'm not... I'm not here to play any games. Oh, what the freaking shit, dude! If they, if they catch us, they'll give us to him. The man downstairs. The man. Very bad. Very, very bad. God. Oh, God. Bro, who are they talking about? Who are they talking about? What do you mean? We've encountered some creepy ass dudes. Are they talking about the carnivore? The the the, the, the <laughs> kill the rats! He's here! Inside the walls! Kill him! <laughs> Yo, this was a bad idea playing playing the stupid DLC man. Oh, look at you turn this off you don't see anything it's like freaking hell man i know something's gonna pop off like this is no way a, a down us. Oh. oh what the fuck Bro, are we really going down that freaking hole? I refuse to believe that. Ooh, dude, this is creepy as freaking heck, man. We got some light here. No, 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 no. There he is. Oh, what do you God. Think? Oh, he'll do. We, for oh. once, we agree. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Yo, what the frick? He, he got away. The groom will have us. Shut up. We'll find a way around. What the fuck's the groom? What are you talking about? Ah! We, ah! We fuck it. Got away. What is up with these freaks, man? Oh. We could give him other flesh that he spares ours. Fucking idiot. He delivered his own self to Gluskin's hail. What? Bro, who the fuck are you guys talking about? Oh my god. Okay, look, let's just relax. There's no need to get crazy with me. I know y'all freaking lunatics, but listen here, man. I'm just a freaking... Listen, I'm just a uh, software engineer. You don't want this. I've got nothing to offer you. I've got kids back home, damn it. 
Alright, uh, yeah, this is fucking great. Oh, what the freaking heck is this? No, shit! A man's body mutilated and bent to mimic or mock the moment of birth. The kind of thing a man cannot see without changing in some irreparable way. Lisa, I want... I was with you when both of our boys were born. It was uh, until recently the most miraculous thing I had seen, completely outside of reasonable belief, and yet somehow central to everything I've come to believe since. You always said I was too literal-minded. I try to turn everything into an if-then statement. Lately, I've widened my horizons. How can the things I've seen were... <laughs> And the things I've seen here be. Uh, but I know the answer. Money, profit. Things we may just uh, because we could. I might have to blur that. Honestly, that's a little too gruesome. Bro, look at the sewing machines. But this is fucking creepy, dude. Okay, listen, listen here, guys. All right. Let's just relax. I've only got three batteries. I mean, you got three batteries after this one, and we need to chill. Like, I need you guys to calm down. Let me just go home to my wife and kids, and I promise I will help you. I will tell everyone and everyone that, that you guys have been mistreated here. This is not what you guys want. You guys... Yo. That looks like the guy that told us to rescue him at the beginning. Before he got thrown into the freaking. Oh, 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 how do you hope? Okay, I'm in the darkness here. He looks just like that guy. Well, at least his haircut. Okay, where do we come from? Oh, he opened this door. Welcome home. Dude, I need some batteries. Oh. What the... What the frick? Bro, what is this? When I was a boy... Oh! When you were a boy, you were a piece of shit! Open, 
freaking battery. That's right, little biatch. Sorry, I have to use the... I have to click on and off here in night vision. So I can be able to see where, where the dark parts are. He's going to come out through that fucking door. Yo, you want to shut up? You want to make more noise than that? <clears throat> Dude, this guy is terrifying. He is terrifying. Wait, 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 what the fuck is China? I want you. No, I don't want you, I don't want you. Ah! Now you better fucking jump over there and shit. <laughs> oh my god, how am I not dead? Just, just die already, dude, so we can finish this shit. work is never done okay what way do I go now I'm freaking limping are you freaking serious this has got to be a joke man there's no place like home yeah exactly just let me go home bro it's goddamn it's relaxed bro So now he's mad because I don't want to be his wifey. They don't want to kill me. How does that even make any sense? I have a, I have, I have a wife and kids, man. What does that say? I if, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Well, that's kind of true. Sorry, guys. This camera thing is driving you crazy. I know, bro. I'm just fucking scared, man. What do you want me to do? Just leave me alone. Just forgive me for that, please. whole freaking full locker what is this where are we going i've been a little vulgar and i want to say i'm sorry i just you know how a man gets when he wants to know but after the ceremony i've made an honest woman of you i promise be a different man. What is this guy doing? I want a family, a legacy, to be the father I never had. I'll never let anything happen to our children. Not like. Here 
here. I know you must be just as eager as I am to consummate our love. But try to enjoy the anticipation. Here, darling. This will help you relax. No freaking way. You better wake the hell up, homeboy. You want to get home to Lisa? I need you to try to bleed less. I know the fair sex often endure the same wounds with your suffering, but you really need to make an effort. Oh! Oh! No, I'm so sorry, darling. Love isn't for everybody. This guy makes look freaking Traeger look like a look a freaking wuss. <laughs> Hold still now, darling. All these unsightly hairs. Oh, silky smooth, like a little girl again. Now the worn, delicate bits. No. No. No! No, don't! Thankfully, they don't show any, any, any genitals. God, you've given up. You're ugly. You've given up. You're not even worth stringing up. Oh, God. Bleed, please. And I. You have amazing bone structure. Such soft skin. Oh. You're going to be beautiful. Okay. What the heck? I gotta write this down. Has to suffer some things. It's not pleasant, I know. But just try to endure. For my sake. For the sake of our children. It won't take long. A few snips of the flesh here and here. Cut away everything vulgar. A soft place to welcome my seed. Yeah, there is definitely oh, genitals here. I gotta block this out. The incision will hurt. And the conception. <laughs> Birthing is never easy. I'll make the cut fast. Just close your eyes and think of your children. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, we got saved. How? We just got saved. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. This guy is wilding out. Alright, so we gotta go this way, right? Is this where we go? Why is everything so freaking? Oh, the camera needs to change. Where the fuck are my batteries? To look, just go back. Go back. Yep, I'm over there where you were cutting me up. Just go over there. It's exactly where I'm at. You're right. Uh, yeah. 
This is totally fucking unfair. Wow, dude. Case number 196, Eddie Gluskin. Initial date of patient consult, patient 46, male, observing uh, physician, 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 observing physician, whatever, Dr. Garrett Snow. <gasps> Therapy status, lucid dreams, figures remains as murky as ever. Gluskin, excuse me, claims a near constant control of his dream state. The correspondence between his narrative and REM cycles. Highly arrhythmic REM and NREM. Morphogenic engine activity plateaus and 90 ppm's. Diagnostics. Diagnostics. Gnostics. Wow. Heavy bronchial accumulation. The rashes associated with hormone therapy have receded and vanished uh, since we stopped using latex tubing. Interview notes. Gluskin remains a frustrating interview subject. He's still trying to tell us. What he thinks he, uh, we want to hear was while studiously avoiding certain elements of the truth. His childhood remains an obvious fiction. He's claiming to have grown up in, uh, in Leave it to Beaver, despite a dramatically violent ongoing sexually experience that is a matter of public and medical record. When I confronted him with the uh, photographs his father and uncle took, he responded with a mixture of laughter and anger and restraints were issued. He similarly refuses to discuss his victims, both categorically, categorically and specifically. When I showed him pictures of the women, he would not admit that they were dead or mutilated. He is claiming advancement in the morphogenic engine program that he has not yet achieved. Said that he could clearly hear the voices of the wall rider just by closing his eyes. Clearly, he's still trying to curry the favor of his doctors. I won't speculate on what he expects to gain by it. Yeah, that dude is freaking crazy the worst so far the worst of the worst okay where the heck are we going to now like what look at this we got a battery right here i can't believe i had five batteries and that dude took all of them now we're limping <laughs> Fuck, dude the door needs a key now we're limping. Oh. Find the key to access the mail ward. This is this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. What is that outside? Oh. What the heck? Bodies hanging like wet laundry. Like skinned rabbit. Men are mutilated, hunted, and murdered. Shortest distance between any two points separates violence and ruined lust. Whatever story he's telling himself, he's not making women to bear his children. He's making women to kill them. Lisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence it ever existed to the ground. Destroy the Murkoff Corporation. Bury it to shame. Take away its money. Wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks his therapy uh, made him better. Everything seeks a uh, reeks of death and fear, piss and coppery, and coppery blood, meat decomposing to game. So wait, are we still here? Like where he's at? He's not here anymore, right? You've already left his little department, correct? Bro. <laughs> Bro, 
for the love of God, bro. Bro. This is a freaking gym here. This guy is way more terrifying than any any other any other villain. Like a hundred percent, he is just terrifying. Oh, you little shithead. Yeah, he doesn't see me here. Why would you do this to me? Bro, please just leave me alone. Go find yourself another slut. Not me. I would not be your slut. I don't even know where I'm at right now. Okay. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. He turned around. Come on, buddy. Oh, I'm just running. I'm just running. I'm just running, running. I'm limping. I'm a pimp with a limp. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's right behind me. No, oh, Good, we got this. Nothing. That was nothing. Oh god, that guy is terrifying. Darling, no, you need to behave. 
Oh! We could have been beautiful. Fuck off, dude. Look at him hang. Oh, there's no way he survives that. There's no way. <laughs> Peace out, punk. Or nothing to do with you. Now I have no more. I still got my batteries. Good, 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 good. Got got enough fun kicking my ass. Bro, this this whistleblower DLC is crazy. Like. Like, this is what you call a DLC, you know? Like, a lot of the times DLCs just feel like add-ons. This feels like a game in itself. I mean, it still feels like an add-on, but you know what I mean? Oh. Let's just say he's dead. Yeah. What kind of sick fuck would do this to somebody? Hey, you guys don't took his damn pants. Tell you one thing. I've seen more than enough dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. Hey, you wanna help me? No? Okay, so serve and protect. Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contractors, whatever they call them now, they're helpless as the rest of us. They need to get out, escape. Okay, maybe uh, we'll be on our own. I mean, they got guns, bro. I, I would have at least told them, hey, uh, want to help me out? So this is now tying up with pretty much what we were doing towards the end of the Outlast story. And now, obviously, we don't meet with the other character because he's down at the bottom. So from Helen Granitz. Uh, Rudolph Wernicke phase out. Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress of Rudolph Wernicke from structural to financial systems at Mount Massive. His advanced age should uh, alleviate any suspicions among contact uh, contractors and employees, among whom he has uh, cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper. And legally speaking, he died years ago. I understand patient 14306-8 and 14279-1 and 14868-1 have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited um, at the uh, at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My researchers have co uh, combed through Wernicke's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Wernicke uh, was su sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is sufficient shielded is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff. A new facility? What the frick? Please don't let somebody else be here, bro. Guys, you want to help me out? No? Okay. There's Traeger. Alright, we're gonna head this way. Locked. Oh man, are we finally out of this freaking creepy ass place? Are we finally out of here? Oh, this is. This is where we were. Back to the beginning now. Thing is, how do we get out of here? Door right here.
Oh, but the main entrance is right there. Never mind. <laughs> Mr. Park. Oh, help me up. Please. <laughs> oh, <die. laughs> wow. No one can know. No one. <laughs> Well, what we got stabbed, so Oh, we're going to get killed, huh? Wow, dude. So we actually escape? That's the car of the guy. Oh. Do we take that car? <laughs> Yo, that's a crazy connection. Gotta be somebody there. That's him. Because the wall, wall rider took over him. Right? You press that button. It's not going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoiacs with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to murk off but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Don't do it, bro. Your family. Wow. He's gonna kill me. Wow. Holy heck, that was insane. I feel like the DLC was in a way like. Oh man, they were both so good. Well. I'm happy it's all over now. It's behind us. It's the past. It doesn't matter. Thank you guys so much for watching. What a fantastic freaking DLC. I'm actually glad I played it. And um, I hope you enjoyed your stay here. As always, if you did, drop it a like if you are enjoying the horror on the channel. And I can't wait for our last three. It's, it's going to be crazy. <sighs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Catch you later.